Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Well, over the month, I've had a lot of people ask me, are you gonna do a video on augers? Well, it's about time we do a vid video on augers on the different types, why I like to use each. So, first of all, you got the hand auger. Hand auger is very reliable. Don't have to worry. As long as you got energy, you can turn the crank. But, you get old like me, you really think about not using a hand auger. So, you got the hand auger. Next, we got the electric auger. What's really nice about the electric auger is, um, here, this is a very light drill, uh, you know, because it has plastic fins. Um, nice thing is, I get to use my drill that I use at home. So this is a nice Milwaukee Fuel brushless. So when you're gonna be using a drill for an ice auger, make sure that you get a brushless drill. The other thing is, uh, this is an 18 volt. This battery will last a very long time. I think I probably cut 60, 70 holes with this battery and I'm talking probably six inches of ice. So um, always make sure to have a spare battery that if you run out of juice, uh, you got another battery. Nice thing too about these batteries is these actually have an LED light. So this one I could tell is fully charged, good to go. So, and then all you gotta do is just, just hit, the, hit the drill button and it turns. Um, the other nice thing I like is uh, this cover. I've had no issues with this cover staying on at all times. Um, there are other um, augers made out there uh, like Ion, um, Strike Master. So there's other augers out there that they actually have the power built right into your ice auger. Nice thing about this is you can buy this base relatively cheap and then you got your drill that you can just add. So something to think about. Uh, next thing I really like using is a propane auger. Um, just runs on a nice little small tank, one pound tank. And believe it or not, this thing on a one pound tank will cut 80, 80 holes, foot, foot. This is an eight inch uh, where this is a six inch. So when I'm pan fishing or really any type of fishing, a six inch hole is gonna usually do me pretty good. An 8 inch, if I'm walleye, pike fishing and stuff like that, will really do it. I don't ever use an auger that's bigger than 8 inches because this should really accommodate all uh, really all fish that you would pull up through the hole. One thing though to remember with a, a propane auger is when you go into storage mode, make sure that you pull this that connects this hose to the propane. So for storage, you want to make sure that it's disconnected. Uh, this will really uh, help should you have any problems because sometimes if it gets really w warm in summer where you're storing it, it might be an issue. And then finally, we have gas. Gas powered augers. Um, really, you know, they're pretty nice, uh, but I've really gone away from gas because uh, I really don't want gas getting into my clothes or in my truck and just having to deal with mixing gas and so forth. The other thing is um, sometimes uh, I fish out of a hub and I want to be able to go in the hub and drill the holes uh, with either a propane or an electric auger, hand auger. I can do all that without having fumes in my hub. So hopefully I've given you enough information about size of, size of auger, you know, a type of auger that you might like. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, comment below uh, this post and I'll get back to you. So this is Greg Karch with Learn to Fish with us.